Hey, do you think you can help me just open my guitar? Yeah. So you got it with you? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. What do you need set up on it? Uh, just the action. You want it lowered? It's or hired? <laughs> <laughs> Which are Okay, you say, know? all right. First of all, we're having this conversation because the hag's from such a good guitar. This gentleman doesn't know whether he wants to lower or raise his action, correct? <laughs> Is that right? Or do you want to lower it? We want to lower it a bit. Lower it a bit. Uh, yeah. Lowering your action is means the, the action on your strings is show them what the action is. The action on your strings is how far away the strings are from the fret, okay? Because guys like jazz guys and uh, and and real guys like to go really fast on their guitars, like rock and roll guys. They like the light gauge strings with the strings as close to the frets as possible, so they can just, you know, like a keyboard. But uh, blues guys and uh, some uh, bluegrass guys and other guys like that like it a little bit higher and a little bit bigger strings. And the bigger strings naturally bring it up higher anyway, because that's just the nature of the beast. Bigger, bigger cables make for a stretch in the neck. All right, so. There's an amp for sale. Marshall GCM 2000 DSO 401 All tubes, ladies and gents. All tubes. All right. Cool. All right. Shit. Follow me. Follow me. What's up with you guys? You're talking about PA. Okay. You guys bought a PA from me? Yeah. Yeah. Are you satisfied with it? Yes. Uh, all right. <laughs> And How about you, Ken? Hey, hey, how you doing? You buying a doing? keyboard from me on time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Right on. Most you, definitely. And you're here to play it, right? And I'm here to also get some, some cymbals and everything. Right. From Let's keep going. I'll, I'll, check, I'll take care of everyone. Right. All right. This place looks nice and neat. <laughs> we got Rick Eller here. Rick Eller, meet the... Uh, American public. There's 200,000 people looking at you right now. <laughs> That's what they told me down at the at the TV, TV station anyway. Uh -oh. 200,000. Potentially. So we want all 200,000 people in, in Muskegon County watching this show on Saturday night. Have you heard of TiVo? You should get that. That works really good. Otherwise, you don't even need cable television. In fact, I want everyone to get a black and white television set with those things, rabbit ears, and, uh, and watch my show through the air. Because when you watch it through the air, you can see the alien transmissions go in and out, go in and out, go in and out. You know? Go in and out. No, I didn't mean go in and out. Can you see the alien transmissions? Yeah? Oh, I can. Oh, God. I didn't party last night, but I, I shoveled some snow. Oh, no. Man, alive. Hard work. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Let's cut to one of our commercials that we're going to make, right? And then right when we get back, we're going to talk about this down here, which is the School of Music. And this is Rick Eller. He's working on guitars. Right over there, pan over there, that's Steve Schnell. These are my crew. Where's Kathy? She didn't want to be on TV? <laughs> we got another girl that works here, Kathy. She's our lifesaver. She'll probably be on next week, but... Uh, she don't. She didn't want to be on the show. She walked out. I'd embarrass her or something like that. <laughs> what do you think of my new glasses? I like them. Yeah, me and Rick are like them a lot. Me and Rick are. <laughs> we're, we're like them. them are nice glasses. <laughs> we're both using those. They work well. We're show. We're sharing glasses. <laughs> Rick uses them so he can get in and close, and I use them because I get in close to something nearsighted. <clears throat> But you can see your fingerprints of these damn things. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let me see your fingerprints, Rick. Spin it over. I burned them off last Holy week. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, shouts out to Brooks Correctional Facility. I got something to talk about that in a minute. It's pretty cool. So. Canvas. Canvas. Electric guitar. Now look at this guitar, man. It's black. It's beautiful. 
plays like a million dollars. A million dollars this guitar plays like. It's got cool black pickups, black guitar, black back here, big ass tuners. I can't say enough cool things about this guitar. I love this guitar. I don't even want to sell it to you guys. Watch out, don't, don't go in the streets. Give me the money already. It's very little, but it's for the church. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try to find his band some cymbals. They, they need a whole set of cymbals and a stool for $115. So it's very hard. But he's going to make it happen. Because we got all these he's crazy cymbals, we can't find any of them sound very good. But we do have a stool there we found that, you know, we could sell cheap. We found this. I know this B8 ride is, you know, it's probably cost about $115 new and it's probably worth about 90 85 90 bucks so that's the brunt of the money right there so 85 90 and then the stool you know the cheapest I could sell would be like 15 bucks because that was what they cost me but it's it's used so five nine. now we gotta try to find him a $15 symbol <laughs> Which is pretty much impossible. He said it was one in the back, so. <laughs> He's going away in the back. All right. You might be able to use one of these 14 inch hi hats. <clears throat> I got this extra hi hat bottom that's just kind of sitting there. We've tried everything else. We tried this camber with a symbol protector. I don't know why yeah. somebody put a symbol. Oh, no, that just came off my symbol. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Darn it. This thing sounded kind of cruddy. Yeah. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you about symbols right now, okay? And the, why I sell the symbols. That's, that's the best one yet. But he's gonna try. I turned it that way. That would, that would loosen it, right? If you turn it this way, you're tightening it. Oh, really? You're straightening the neck out more. It's really hard to find a, a, a $15 symbol that sounds good, especially in the store where, you know, I'll tell you what we sell. We sell the Peisty PST-5, which is the best sounding symbol ever for the money, and I can't keep them. Come here, I'll show you where they are at, you know what I mean? But, but you can't buy them for $15, but you can buy them for pretty, pretty darn cheap. I don't even know if I got one in here. You know, see, I sold them all. What I could do to get him into something like a good. This will work. This will work. That's like crud, too. There's nothing you can do. You sound like the gong show, man. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I don't even know if I have any here because. Sold them all. Sold every single one of them I had. Oh well, that's the way it goes. What's up? See, these are all expensive symbols, even though they're old. They sound kick-ass. All right. Well, Steve's out looking for that symbol right. in the very back. We got a storage area in the back. Uh, I'll t I'm going to demonstrate some stuff about drums. Okay, come here. This is kind of what I want to talk about. All right. This is the school. Of here he is. Here comes Steve. School of, music. School of Music. All right, School of Music. Now, I'm going to show you how we teach beginners to play drums in one lesson. And uh, Brooks Correctional Facility, if you're, at, if you're out there, you can learn how to play drums without sticks. Okay, right here. All right, this is how I play drums. Watch this. You can learn to be a drummer and not drive your cellmate crazy. Don't watch this. This is how I play drums in, in, in the joint. Watch. You know what I'm getting at? And you can do this all freaking day long. Here's your hi-hat. Here's your hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe you get some sticks from somebody. I don't know. You know. <laughs> watch, watch. And then it goes like this on a hi-hat, right? This is your hi-hat up here. 
and use your snare right down here. You're like, one. All right, this is how we learn how to play drums. One, two, three, four. Kids, you know, you can do this everywhere you do. School of music, you become a drummer. Right? It's like this. This is how you become a drummer. You put these things in your hand, and you want to be a drummer in this room? You, know, you drum in this room. This is my dog. Which is for you, bro? Johnny. Here's how you be a drummer, man. He's so good. Just don't look right now. Don't let me see your right hand. I'm just saying, right there. Put your hands in, like, your hands across your body and hold them over. Put them in your back pocket. You guys, now everybody's fucking their shirts in. So, we're gonna walk around the way with, you don't even know, you ain't got them there, you know. You ain't got them. You know, you never let these go. You're a drummer. And they're only five bucks. You can
Thanks. Got them all over the place. Two picks that I just, uh, bright colors.